Hey, it's Lynn Saxberg reporting for DigitalLounge.ca and OttawaCitizen.com. I'm backstage at RBC Royal Bank Blues Fest with LP, a woman from New York City with a huge voice who we fell in love with at the Ottawa Folk Festival last year. How are you, LP? I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm from LA now. Now I'm living in LA. Correction. Yeah. I am from New York City. but. Um, so my first question is, um, you were here a year ago. Yeah. You still haven't got a full-length album out yet. What well, the heck? That's what I was working on. It's got quite a year. It's not quite a year. It's like eight months. Because <laughs> we, we kept touring through like early November and then, um, you know, everybody takes off December and then we got back to it and we just, uh, we're just wrapping it up now, really. It was uh, about six months of like recording mm -hmm. and finishing it up and, um, and it's ready, uh, almost. I just got to do a bunch of stuff to it and it'll, it'll be out in January. Okay. But we'll be do you have a title? Um, it's called Forever For Now. Uh, after one of the songs of it on it and um, so it's uh, we're gonna be playing a lot of new songs and stuff tonight and uh, it's the first time so I'm a little nervous I was a little nervous that maybe you know um, you know you have doubts and and on d different songs sometimes but they just, just seem like the right songs and they seem like they go together and and you know into the wild is on this record the studio version uh, Tokyo Sunrise songs that people have heard before um, but there's quite a few new ones. There's like nine new songs. And meanwhile, that EP isn't dead yet. <laughs> no, it's not. It's, it's actually not. It's, it's been doing really well. We put out uh, a vinyl version of it. And um, yeah, and it's been, it's been doing really well. And, um, you know, I, I'm really excited, you know, to just get out on tour again. Because I haven't toured. This is like, you know, one of the first things I've done in like seven months. So, ah, so you're itching to get out there in yeah. front of fans, are you? Yeah, yeah. sure. Now that you are like a major label recording artist, has it changed a lot for you besides the move to LA, I guess? Oh yeah, you know, poolside all the time. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hookers and blow. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> wow. No. It's been amazing. Warner Brothers, I feel like, is kind of like an old school label. They really believe in artists and, you know, they have like really cool artists like Black Keys and Tegan and Sarah and Muse and people that have built their careers over time. Um, you have one of those incredible once in a generation type of voices. How do you preserve this precious instrument between gigs? <laughs> Here we go. Organic beer. No, I studied and I, I do a lot of vocal warm ups and stuff. I, I cool down my voice after and, you know, drink a lot of water and get no sleep. <laughs> stuff like that um, I don't know you know I've, I've trained my voice a bit you know I think I kind of like dug quite a hole though like this is maybe my most difficult record ever or my most difficult batch of songs now <laughs> yeah so we'll see let's go for it okay, well good luck with that Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thanks